Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here on a nice crisp morning in Montana. It just rained and so there are little things crawling all, all, all over the paths everywhere you look and I'm talking about these guys. Earthworms! Oh my gosh, they are so cool. They gross so many people out, but they are such a neat animal that, believe it or not, a lot of people don't know that much about. Like, first of all, did you know they're not even native to the USA? Not at all. They're actually native to Europe, so I guess technically you can consider these little cuties to be invasive species. However, they're one of the very few invasive species that are actually really good to have around because they do good things for us. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But let me talk about the earthworm. Now when you look at them, the first thing you're going to notice is they've got all these little segments, these lines on them. And that's actually called annuli or annuli, a lot of people will call it. And basically that just means it's rings on their body. And then on their entire body, they have all these little bristles that help them move through the ground and burrow. And that's what these guys do so well is burrow. They can actually go down almost seven feet into the ground, although typically they usually stay at about six to seven inches below the soil. Now the question I get the most is why in the world do so many of these things come out after it rains? Well, it used to be a lot of people thought because their burrows flooded and they would drown. Well, guess what? These guys breathe through their skin, so it's really hard to drown a, a worm. They can actually stay in a body of water for a couple days and still be okay. Eventually, they'll drown, but it takes a lot for that to happen. So what these guys do is that when it rains, it allows them to move across the surface that much easier. Their skin needs to be moist. It helps them move across the top of the pavement and the grass, and so that's why during after a rain, you're seeing them all because trying to get from point A to point B that much faster. How cool is that? And last but not least, my favorite thing about these earthworms that always is so weird to talk about, but this earthworm, just this one in my hand, is both a boy and a girl. All in one worm. That'll blow your mind. Think about that next time you put one of these guys on your fishing hook. Kind of sad. Anyway, guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy. We'll see you at the zoo.